Okay, y'all, I'm a mess. I just went and got a manicure, and I, of course, had to walk over to the beach and check it out, and it was super windy, and look at my hair. <laughs> it's crazy. But I thought, I just was videoing, um, editing together a video today of what I eat when I'm dieting. Different things that I eat when Scott's out of town when I'm dieting. Well, I weighed this morning after being gone for 12 days out of town, and you know how you eat when you're out of town. Um, I ate out a lot. I ate all kind of food. I didn't gain any weight. I think it's because my portion control has been pretty good. So, um, I thought I would show you a quick haul of what I buy when I'm not dieting. Just a grocery haul. People are always asking me for grocery hauls. So this is not typical, but it will teach you three things. When you're not dieting, you buy food you would never eat normally. Well, actually I would always eat all this food, but I wouldn't buy it. Number two, don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry. And I don't remember number three. So here goes my haul. First, I wanted to show y'all this beautiful flower that came off this giant bush by my um, garage, or carport. I think it's a camellia, but it's huge, y'all. It's gonna be covered. I can't wait to show it to you once it blooms. But is this not exquisite? Oh, so pretty. Okay, this is my dinner. This is what I chose to get for dinner. And that's really all I went in the store for, okay? All right. I grabbed some grapes because I love grapes. I grabbed a Caesar salad because Scott will be home in two nights and I know we're gonna have steak, so I grabbed that. I grabbed these cooked crackers that I've never eaten in my life, but I just wanted to get them. I grabbed these rice cakes. I know they're probably horrible, but they're gluten-free, so I grabbed them for like a snack. I got some avocados because why not? I got a lime because I need them for the avocados. Then I got this fresh mozzarella and basil and tomatoes to make, you know, whatever that salad's called. I can't think of it. Then we always buy brie and it ends up going bad. Look at these individual little brie cups. I'm gonna try that. Cause I mean, that's cool, right? I got ham, cause I always get ham. I got some prosciutto and panino fingers. It's just prosciutto wrapped mozzarella. I could have made these myself probably cheaper, but those looked really amazing for lunch. And then I got some hard salami because when Scott does get home, we'll have that with the brie and the grapes and everything. Then I walk next door and the Publix I was at has its own liquor store. And when I was in France last year and London, we kept drinking mulled wine, which is wine that you heat up. And then when I was at my mom's, she had some. So I ran in there and I found it. So I'm excited because that stuff is amazing. I'm gonna sit by the fire and have some later. I'm just gonna do a small fire like the fire walk. And then for no reason other than I loved this. I mean, I do love Joanna's Magazine, but it's a little bit expensive. I need to just subscribe because it's only $20 a year for, um, for oh, I keep wanting to say episodes, for whatever these are. I don't know what you get four times a year. So that would be $5 a piece. I think I paid $8, but I loved this. The Thrill of Hope, Choosing to Live in Hopeful Expectation. I thought that was the best message. So I cannot wait to sit down with my sushi and read my Magnolia Journal. So I would just thought I'd show y'all a crazy food haul of random gear when I'm really not worrying about what I'm eating. But really there's nothing here that's bad or super, yeah, there's nothing here that's really fattening. So anyway, I'm not checking that because whether it's fattening or not, I'm drinking it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu really quick video. Bye.